If you've been following VR lately, you'll know that the industry is changing faster than ever. But we now have had the announcement of the Pimax Super Open. And I can assure you that I'm really human and not AI yet. But today we're talking about what the Super Open really means for the future of VR. And why I'm personally excited about the future of Pimax after spending the last couple of years in the Pimax ecosystem, from the Crystal Light to the Crystal Super and the Ultra Wide Optical Engine and the incredible 57 PPD, and now a complete shift towards an open modular future. Over the last year as a VR content creator, I've watched this company evolve dramatically. So I started my Pimax journey with the purchase of a Crystal Light, a headset that proved you don't need to spend a fortune to get clarity and comfort. And it became the perfect gateway VR headset for so many people who wanted high-end visuals without stepping into heavy-duty enthusiast territory. For me, I had a number of standalone VR headsets and it was actually iRacing that made me finally dive into the world of Direct Display Ports dedicated VR headsets. And I never had any regrets. And to this day, I still love my Pimax Crystal Light, and this led me to creating some content, including some guides for Pimax on American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2. This is the Pimax Crystal Light. You're not just driving, you're there. From the dashboard lights to the sunset in your mirrors, it's all sharp, smooth and stunning. Truck Sim in VR hits different with this on. Wanna feel the difference? Tap the link. When I started speaking with Pimax, I was extremely impressed with their passion for innovation, but what shone through more than anything else was they actually cared for the gaming communities. This is evident largely in the flight simulator communities, but ATS and ETS2 were a very niche segment for Pimax. But they were really interested in both games and were happy to put together a promotion which was a VR trucking challenge. To this day, ATS and ETS2 are still in beta, but Pimax laid the groundwork for the future of both games in the Pimax ecosystem. And I have made some great friends in the process of helping bring virtual trucking to the world of Pimax. And I'll be updating the Pimax guide for ATS when version 1.57 has released fully. Play it on Pimax. Next Level Sim Gaming Trucking Radio. Then, things got serious with the Crystal Super. Retina level clarity, improved lenses, Toby eye tracking, a headset that started pushing boundaries rather than just catching up. And I was one of the first UK Pimax content creators to have an RTX 5090 at that time. And I also did some testing on the Pimax Crystal Light with some videos produced for Pimax. And then I was privileged to be asked to do some content with the Pimax Crystal Super. Now, in the early days of the Super, the driver issues of the RTX 50 series caused problems not only for Pimax users, but VR users in general. And I too experienced many of these, and I actually covered these in my six-month review of the Pimax Crystal Super. But again, during this time, Pimax worked closely with NVIDIA, and the issues were swiftly resolved, with a series of hotfix driver updates from NVIDIA, and today, the Pimax Super and Crystal Light work exceptionally well with the RTX 50 series. Now the Super remains my preferred VR device, and initially, like many, I was skeptical about the modularity, but also curious as to how this would work. But then came along the ultra-wide optical engine. Now my first reaction was it was like a 50 PPD plus rather than a natural ultra-wide experience, but still very impressive, and fantastic in sim racing. And I've covered this in much more detail in its own specific video. Then I tested the 57 PPD. Now this to me was where tech turned the corner. It's true near retina level visuals, text became razor sharp, distant objects look real, and it even offers a performance increase. Now presently this is my favorite optical engine, and I also covered this in a recent video. But what I enjoy is the easy, hot, swappable nature of the optical engines, completely transforming the device in a matter of minutes.
Throughout all of this, I've seen Pimax shift from a high-end hobbyist brand to true innovation leaders, and the super open announcement proves it. And to help you begin your Pimax journey, Pimax's partners to my channel have provided all Next Level Sim Gaming viewers exclusive Black Friday offers, including a 12-month iRacing subscription on the Pimax Super, and also the lowest ever price on the Pimax Crystal Light. Now combined with my discount code NLSIMGAMING, you can get an even better deal. I've included all the details in the video description and also a separate Pimax Buyer's Guide that will give you more information on the current offers and everything you need to know. So what exactly is the Pimax Super Open? The short version is it's Pimax turning their entire platform into an open modular VR ecosystem. Now this is huge, so instead of a fixed headset where every component is locked in for its entire lifespan, the Super Open is built around swappable optical engines, PPD, FOV, micro OLED, future displays, modular faceplates and sensors, upgradable compute architecture, and open standards for accessories and tracking. It's a platform that's designed to evolve and not to expire. Now this isn't a new headset, it's a completely new VR platform. It's a system where you can keep upgrading pieces over time, just like a gaming PC. Accessories, optical engines and software, this is something that VR enthusiasts have been asking for since the early days of the Vive Index era, but no one has properly committed to it until now. If you're a VR fan, this changes the entire upgrade cycle. Today, to upgrade VR, you usually have to buy a new headset. But now, with Super Open, you might just upgrade the display module or even the chassis itself, retaining your optical engines. Perhaps there might be an update to the display port as graphics cards advance, for example, so from 1.4 to 2.1. So the possibilities are endless. It becomes cheaper, more customizable, more future proof, and there's also less e waste, and it's more enthusiast friendly. And because Pimax is leaning into open standards, it invites third-party developers to innovate on top of a platform, much like early PC VR did. This is the future that VR should be heading towards. By joining Pimax Super Open, you will get access to Pimax APIs, HDK resources, and a dedicated OpenMR developer code and tools tailored for visionary creators and engineers shaping the next generation of virtual reality. You'll be joining a growing network where innovation is community driven and everyone in the program gains access to the developer discord, a space to exchange ideas, collaborate, and inspire new creations. You'll be taking part in shaping the future of VR, supporting new initiatives and be able to launch your own projects, gain community support and help bring creative ideas to life. To join, simply use the code SUPEROPEN when purchasing any eligible Super Series products on the official Pimax website. After your purchase, you'll receive an email within 24 hours containing your OpenMR developer ID and a link to download the SDK and HDK resources. If you've already purchased the Pimax Super, you can check out the application channel on the Pimax Discord and submit your application to join. So this is the future that I'm excited for. First of all, the Micro OLED Optical Engine. The moment a Micro OLED Engine arrives for the Super, we're talking true black levels, ultra high contrast, and then of course we've got the Pimax Dream Air. The Dream Air is another big move. It's lighter, more compact VR with cutting edge capabilities. Now imagine pairing this design philosophy with the super open modularity. The future is suddenly looking very exciting. So modular VR as a whole. Now this could lead to niche optical engines such as wide field of view, cinema grade PPD, AR hybrids, now one idea that was mentioned which I think would be absolutely awesome would be a pilot style or racer style VR headset for sim racing. Now this could even be a joint venture with a racing manufacturer like Porsche or McLaren. Like the Logitech A50 McLaren edition headphones I absolutely love. Now as VR is extremely subjective, having the options such as swappable comfort and faceplate systems, open tracking ecosystems, new controllers, interchangeable compute packs, these are all extremely compelling. Now this is no longer a one headset fits all, this is VR but shaping itself to fit you. So what does this mean for my channel? 
Well, as someone who's been covering Pimax and VR now for over a year, this next chapter feels like the most exciting yet. Because instead of reviewing one headset, I get to explore a whole evolving VR platform. And hopefully, I'll be testing every new obstacle engine, every future upgrade module, and every breakthrough that Pimax brings to the enthusiast world. If you're passionate about VR's future, this is the type of journey that you want to follow. So that's my first look and reaction to the Pimax Super Open. Not just another headset, but the first true step towards a modular upgradable future for VR. If you're as excited about where VR is heading as I am, make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts on the Super Open below. Because the next few years of VR are going to be absolutely wild and I can't wait to take that journey with all of you here on Next Level Sim Gaming. I'll see you in the next video.